everyone my name is kumar aditya and in this video i'm gonna talk about the bjt based possible gate driver circuit so here on my screen i have created this circuit in lt spice so this blue dotted box uh, emulates the microcontroller to generate the logic level pwm pulses essentially it's a voltage source in series with a 1 kilo ohm resistor this big blue dotted box is the main driver circuit and this is the load I'm trying to drive. So this is a power MOSFET from International Rectifier. And it is driving this uh, high side 20 ohm load resistance from this 50 volt power supply. Now, this microcontroller output could be anything uh, in the range of 3.3 volt or 5 volt, right? Or 1.5 volt, depending upon the kind of uh, microcontroller family you are using now this voltage level are obviously not enough to fully turn on a power mosfet right unless you are driving a logic level mosfet so we know that the threshold voltage of a power mosfet is anything between 2 to 4 volt and you need at least 8 to 15 volt to fully enhance the channel so that it turns on with a very low rds on Right. So we need some kind of interface between this microcontroller and our load to convert this uh, logic level voltage into this uh, into 15 volt level. Right. So here, this is called a level shifter, which essentially converts this logic level voltage into this uh, 10 to 15 volt level. And uh, this is a MOSFET which can fully turn on with 3.3 volt and 5 volt logic voltage. So it has um, a very low gate threshold voltage and it has a very large RDS on. And this is just a pull up register of 1 kilo ohm. So whenever I give um, uh, the command to turn on the MOSFET, let's say 3.3 volt in this case so this mosfet will turn on and voltage at this node will be pulled to ground because this is now short circuited to ground right so here i have zero volt right similarly when i give the command to turn off the mosfet so this mosfet will be off and now the voltage at this node will be equal to gate driver power supply so this uh, voltage source is uh, the supply to the gate driver circuit, right? So I am converting this 3.3 volt logic level voltage into 15 volt analog voltage. So that's why it is called a level shifter because it is changing or shifting the level of the voltage generated from the microcontroller to the level which we want in our gate driver circuit. Now I'm using this level shifter to drive this BJT post-pull stage. So here I have Q3, which is an NPN transistor, and this Q4 is a PNP transistor, right? So whenever I have zero volt here, this is off. I have 15 volt. I have when I have zero volt, I have 15 volt here at this node. So this PNP transistor will turn on, right? So this will be on and current can flow from the gate driver supply through this Q3 transistor to the gate pin of the MOSFET and drive it. So current will flow like this and this MOSFET will turn on and therefore now load current can circulate in the circuit like this. Whenever I have 3.3 volt here, so this will be a uh, on so this node will be sorted to ground so i have zero volt here so this pnp transistor since the base of this pnp is now sitting as zero volt this will turn on so if this mosfet was on the this gate pin will be pulled to the ground so gate current can now flow sync to the ground pin of this gate drive, right? So this MOSFET will be off and current will cease to exist. So this is the basic working of this gate driver. 
main purpose of this level shifter is to convert the 3.3 or 5 volt logic level voltage into the 10 or 15 volt level which we will use to drive the MOSFET right and main purpose of this BJT push pull stage is to uh, turn on and turn off this MOSFET as fast as possible because if we do not have this stage if we are directly using this level shifter to drive this MOSFET obviously this MOSFET will turn on right because I have 15 volt here but thing is that to turn on this MOSFET the current has to flow through this one kilo ohm resistor so you can imagine that there is gate source capacitor here so RC time constant will be large when turning on and similarly when turning off current will sink through this MOSFET so turn off will be fast but turn on will be slow so it will be not symmetrical so therefore we have this push pull stage so that both turn on and turn off can be as fast as possible similarly you can eliminate this level shifter if you are driving a logic level power MOSFET which can turn on fully with a 3.3 volt or 5 volt signal right all all you care about is to control the uh, switching time so you need to sink a large amount of current into the gate and uh, uh, you need to have some circuit for that obviously if you directly drive the microcontroller uh, directly drive this mosfet with the microcontroller pin you won't get faster turn on and turn off because this microcontroller they cannot source and sink large amount of current usually their current source and sinking capability is in the range of milliamps right so if you want to control the speed of turn on and turn off you need some interface in between so this is the that interface so its main purpose is to control the speed of turn on and turn off of MOSFET the reason it is called push pull because you can see when I'm turning on this MOSFET current is flowing like this so top top BJT is pushing the current into the gate pin of this load MOSFET and when I'm trying to turn this off this bottom BJT is pulling the current from the gate pin of the MOSFET right so it's push and pull kind of uh, scenario here so that's why it is called as push pull stage so this is very simple to create in a lab you all you need is this four basic component right and you need to arrange for uh, power supply which you need to turn on and turn off this turn off your load MOSFET so I hope this is uh, very, and this is clear and in the next video I will talk about the MOSFET based uh, uh, push pull gate drive so here let's quickly see the result also so on the bottom i have the microcontroller output so you can see let me quickly run the simulation so you can see i have voltage between 0 and 3.3 .3 volt so this is this node here the second plot is the voltage at this node so whenever i have 3.3 .3 volt uh, this node is pulled to ground so i have zero whenever i have zero volt here this mosfet is off and voltage at this node will be 15 volts so i'm getting 15 volt obviously there will be some drop in this register now if this node uh, is zero then gate pin will see zero and if this node is 15 gate pin will see 15 volts so this is what i am facing here now one thing you can notice and it is very important that this is your uh, source right or main source main logic uh, pulses uh, pwm pulses uh, and uh, this is the output of your circuit so it is an inverted logic so here you are giving command to turn on the mosfet so you are generating 3.3 volt at this node but here it will be 0 volt right because of the way this circuit works so that's why 
you need to be very careful because if you are creating the circuit using this create component in your lab you need to keep this in mind that it will generate the inverted logic so here you can see so whenever i have zero volt from the microcontroller i have 15 volt at the gate pin of this mosfet obviously it's not 15 volt because there is some drop in this uh, uh, collector emitter junction of this mosfet uh, this bjt similarly there will be some drop uh, across uh, this pnp transistor as well and on top i have the load current so whenever uh, I have 15 volt gate, this MOSFET is on, so current can flow. Whenever this gate is 0 volt, uh, this MOSFET is off, so this current cannot flow, so current is 0. Okay. So that's all. See you in the next video. Bye bye.